may be affected by Typhoon Ulysses Banco. the best coffee I have had in a very very long time mm. we've come out to Alabang and we're here at Bean and York right now and honestly I just went over to the barista and told her this is fantastic this is really insanely good coffee and the thing that makes me really really happy local Philippine beans from Benguet so good so good so underestimated love it um, today we came out to Alabang to discover a few new spots around the neighborhood. We really, really love Alabang and uh, it's our like fourth or fifth time in I think two months that we came out here. Um, it seems to be a reoccurring thing. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know if we'll manage past lunch because there is a huge tropical, there's a huge tropical storm coming and alarms keep going off on yeah. all our phones and yeah. Food better come out fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this vlog might continue different. Yeah, you can hear the alarms going off. This vlog might turn out differently than we originally had planned. Here go two weeks of oh man. <laughs> oh. Good. So fluffy. Mmm, this looks really delicious. And pancakes is actually something that I'm not barely making at home, so I love to try it at restaurants. Food was really good, coffee was really good. We're excited to try those. Okay, our phones are literally going crazy. Like every few seconds there's a new emergency message coming through the kind of broadcasting center that the tropical depression Ulysses is heavy, heavy on its way. So we need to get home. And look, the sky is looking pretty grim. And we don't want to get stuck outside of Manila yeah. in a storm. Uh, yeah, we had to cut our visit short. Ah! Oh. Also, just saw an Instagram story from our friend Juan, uh, Lost Juan, who is currently in Quezon province and it looks really serious again. So, better get it going. Your route may be affected by Typhoon Ulysses Banco. So, we, uh, we put our navigation on Google Maps, and Google Maps is saying that our route might be impacted by the typhoon which is crazy i've never had that before never never had google maps act like that before so uh we gotta get home like we already reached a point where traffic is standing still yeah it's um, crazy and we actually have to be on that lane over there so we're standing in traffic going 20 minutes in this direction so we can stand in traffic 40 minutes going back in this direction. Yeah, that's a dog. Okay, executive decision was made. We took the entrance to the SLEX southbound and we're just going to drive two kilometers to the first exit and then get back onto the SLEX northbound because uh, that way we, we skip past all of that traffic. 
because we would have been stuck in traffic there for an hour just to get on the SLEX right away there. So here we're just kind of like looping around. More important to get home fast than going the direct way. Yeah. Sometimes you need to take a step back to progress in life. <laughs> Okay, wow, yikes, we are back at home. It seems like with every minute the time progressed, the more hectic traffic became. I think everybody's kind of like trying to get where they need to be before the storm hits. And you can feel like it's getting cold again. Like where I'm standing here, yeah, there's like this cold breeze pulling through. Yeah. Nuts. Um, I think it's expected to hit Manila at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah, and it's a uh, signal three. So no. last time it was signal four, this time it's oh, but signal But by the three. time it hit Manila, it wasn't signal three. It was like signal three. Last time? Yeah. It, it went down as it came. Okay. So let's hope this one goes down as well. Yeah. But it don't, doesn't feel like it will right now. Alright guys, we, we made it home safely and literally, I mean, this is this, one of the strongest winds I've ever experienced here in the Philippines. I think you can see the plant in the background. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. I hope everybody is uh, safe. It's like always scary to experience bad weather like this and, and think that there's a lot of people that don't have a roof over their heads, which is really saddening. Wow, it is so crazy. It's a raging, raging storm. If you're kind of up in our apartment on the higher floors, but as soon as you come down here and you're in between the buildings, it's actually super, super calm. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of sound coming from the construction site. That is scary. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, I think it got less. All the noises are kind of, kind of eerie and scary that you can hear from the construction site. Yeah, but it was stronger before, like when we were up, um, I think it lessened a little bit, which is no, good. No, I think it's just because we're surrounded by all these buildings here. Oh, okay. We don't notice it. But if you listen, the sound is like shattering noises everywhere around yeah. us. Well, I'm glad we escaped the typhoon. So we're at home, we're safe. We hope you guys are safe as well. Um, yeah. I hope this typhoon season is over soon. Peanut. It's so loud. <laughs> 